When we eat, food sends a signal that promotes the release of insulin, which delivers nutrients to our bodies. When we don't eat, we don't get that signal in our brains, and our bodies start to use fat stores to deliver the nutrition we need. That's what we thought, but it's not the whole story, because it's leaving out two important players. Scripps Research neuroscientist Supriya Srinivasan calls those molecules FLIP7 in the brain and IN7 in the gut. The IN7 peptide that's secreted from the gut functions in the neurons that release FLIP7 and acts as a gate and says, stop. Which means stop burning fat. Now, it may seem strange that an insulin antagonist like IN7 would tell our brain to stop burning fat during a fast, and its effect is ultimately overridden. But Srinivasan says understanding the power of the molecule could provide new medical ways to begin fat loss among people with obesity. You can imagine a drug that blocked IN7 and its effects would promote the burning of fat, not prevent it. What the study allows us to start thinking about is how insulin antagonism in mammals may be a physiologically relevant tool that could be harnessed for metabolic benefits. The experiments at Scripps Research were done on worms called C. elegans. They're great to study because they have a remarkable physical similarity to humans. Here's a photo of one of them with that messenger molecule in green. When it comes to fasting, it has shown many health benefits. A study of firefighters in San Diego who did a daily 14-hour fast showed they had lower blood pressure and lower blood sugar. Srina Vassan says there's more. Both fasting and caloric restriction have beneficial effects on lifespan. That's been shown. And scientific advances could make those health benefits more within the reach of people who have suffered the effects of weight gain. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.